Hi, today I'm going to talk about how I took some ceramic tile I got on vacation and turned them into trivets and coasters. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And my project for today are these trivets and coasters. Now, normally my projects are about making things for gaming and gamers, but this is not a game-themed video. This is about using souvenirs from a recent vacation. I went, stopped in Portugal. They're famous for their ceramic tile. And I picked up just a handful of unique tile and I wanted to turn that, those into a, a project. So I use Adobe Illustrator to do my designs. I cut the wooden parts on a laser cutter. They're both cut and engraved on the laser cutter. And my general approach was to make a, take the design that was inside the tile and extend it out into the wooden frame. So I'll talk about how I did that. And then I have two different finishing techniques for the trivets. I just have a wipe on polyurethane for the wood and I have little feet on the back. But for the coasters, I wanted them to be waterproof. So I've got a resin coating on the top of those. I really like how that turned out. And I have cork on the back. So I'll talk about how I did this in this episode. I started by taking a picture with my phone of the tile and I take it from the top and I try to make it as square as possible. Then I use Photoshop to grab them individually and put them in separate image documents that I can pull into Illustrator. I made these images 600 by 600 pixels, but then in Illustrator I need to size them correctly. So after measuring the tile and seeing it's 2 inches by 2 inches, I make a red square, which is a cutout. Red lines are cut lines on the laser cutter. And I find the image I want and I put it in place and size it to fit. This particular design is my simplest design. It has a border on the edge, so I just use the uh, rectangle tool to create blue engraving lines that replicate that blue border. A couple of my designs have knots, uh, kind of Celtic knot designs. And there I use the pen tool to extend the lines. The one thing I know about Celtic knots is that a segment alternates between going over and under like weaving. So I have to use the direct selection tool to go back and pick out little pieces of the lines and delete them so it looks like it's going under and over. I'll be honest, these uh, designs really do test your illustrator skills. In an example like this where I've determined the center motif is repeated in the four corners, I use the pen tool and I click around a component of the design like this six-sided piece here and then I'll just copy and paste and move and group and replicate and rotate till I've done the center design and then I copy and paste it and rotate the four corners into place. This is my most complex tile and I have to replicate that center design and it's a combination of some ellipses there in the center. And then I make one of the leaves, and then once again, I copy and paste and group and, and build up to the full designs there. Then I have these squares with some diamond patterns in them. I just created that with the pen tool. Once I have my top designs, I have to do the rest of the components. I measure the thickness of the tile. This is 3 8 of an inch thick. That means I need the top and two of these rings plus a solid bottom to make a single trivet. For a coaster, the tile is a little thinner. It only takes one extra ring in addition to the top layer. So I lay those out and then I need a solid bottom for that as well. The idea is to be as efficient as possible in the use of my 12 inch by 12 inch plywood. Once the parts are cut, it's pretty easy assembly. Just uh, use a good wood glue, put it together, uh, line it up as carefully as possible. You put clamps on it and use a wet sponge to clean up any of the glue that might have uh, squirted out the sides. The coasters are even easier because there's only three layers and two clamps is enough to, to hold these together while they dry. I mentioned I wanted to use resin on the top to make them waterproof and I have a whole video on how to use resin. I'll put the link for that here but Basically, you elevate the pieces on little blocks, you mix up the resin and hardener, you pour it, use a heat gun to pop the bubbles, and then you keep wiping the edges, and very importantly, under the edges to make sure that any drips that form are wiped away. 
Then you let it cure for 24 hours and you're rewarded with this beautiful finish. I cut cork using the same outline that I used for the coasters themselves, only a half inch smaller in both dimensions so it fits just inside the edge of the wood and I glue that on and weight it down with granite blocks and let that dry. I used wipe on poly on the top sides and bottom of the trivet. I used these little silicon feet that are very easy to apply and then I check to make sure I have the right orientation of the tile because these drawings are not exactly symmetrical. I put in a considerable amount of glue, spread it out, and then put the tile in. I think this idea of extending an image into the frame would also be good for a very special picture frame for a special picture. I have some great game-related coaster ideas I'm going to be doing in future projects, so if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel.